what is going on guys so we are back with a small deck profile and here we have Rob Lucci so new black leader from OP7 and I'm very very excited right so the ability is when attacking you may trash the top two cards from your deck and give your opponent a minus one so if you guys know I've been a very very big fan of the board control and removal and uh, so yeah i'm very excited to try this guy out and so far i think he's going to be my main deck so before we get started then make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this leave a like if you're enjoying this new format and let me know in the comments below what deck are you using for op7 now without further ado let's get started All right, so here we we are starting with the CP package. So we have four Spandam, which is your main search engine, right? One cost to K, search for the top three cards for a CP, and you trash the rest. So not only does it help you with your search, but it helps you fill the uh, the trash. So very very good. And then the next one, it's uh, Spandin. So a new card that we got from EBO1. And um, this card lets you play a four or less card from your trash. So very good, combos very well with uh, Rebecca. So very, very good. Then we have for Khalifa. This is your first CP uh, 2K counter that we had. So that is pretty, pretty good. And also, if you're stuck, uh, if you play her, it lets you recycle your hand, draw two, crush two, but it also minus two to one of your uh, opponent's character. So very, very flexible as a, uh, as a card. Then you have the new Kaku. So Kaku, a new 2K counter, uh, four cost, 5K. And so far, I've only been using him for his 2K but this card allows you to minus three so could be useful but so far like i said mainly just a 2k and then of course you have four rob Lucci. so with all the minuses in your deck you need to have four rob Lucci's because you need to see him in your hand or in your trash and sometimes even with all the trash that you have uh you don't see him so that's why we put him at four then we are putting three Kaku. So like I said, a lot of minuses. So we need to have removals. So Kaku KOs a three or less. And with your ability and the stage, it's very, very easy to bring your opponent's characters to the three cost. And then the last CP character that we have is the new uh, big body uh, Stussy. So 9-9 nine, nine, and then on play you trash one of your characters and then you kill any any of your opponent's character. So this is very good and especially against yellow uh, because since they tend to play one big body at a time without having anything on the board if they're unlucky with the, um, the triggers or we manage the board. So this is a very, very good counter for like a big mom or an ace or anything annoying that uh, you have a hard time clearing. And for the events, we have the new Tempest Kick, which is a uh, the new Great Eruption, right? So you draw one, and if you have 10 or more cards in your trash, you give minus three. So I say it's a new Great Eruption, but it's a new and better Great Eruption. So for sure, you play four of this card. And then the stage, which is unfortunately not a CP, but it's very, very useful in this deck. And it's a must have because yes, one is CP locked and it allows you to minus two. So very good, but three is enough. And then for your Navy package or whatever it's left of Navy in this deck, you have the Tsuru. Tsuru is 
probably one of the best 2k counters in the game and especially in the black and black blue uh, package because for one cost minus two if you don't have any of your events if you don't have your stage and it can also combo with uh, uh, gecko moria so very very good very useful then obviously you have your el mepo el mepo again you can combo it with rebecca if you have it in hand you can combo it with gecko moria if uh, you play and it's in your trash so a minus three is always good especially if you can play it for free all right so two of this guy and then one character that makes a big comeback into the format it's isho and i say comeback and i shouldn't say that because it's never really been meta but i think in this format it has a place uh, in the deck uh, because except for red purple la the other decks are slower and more board controlly so you do actually have a turn where you can play this guy and disrupt your opponent's hand and then the following turn minus three everything so very very good and now for the dress rosa package or if you can call it that but so you have four rebecca's so i've seen uh, decks play three but i believe that four is almost essential because the possibilities are insane with Rebecca, right? You have Rebecca with Brook, you have Rebecca with Spandine, you have uh, Gecko, uh, Rebecca, Spandine into Rablucci, and multiple, multiple, multiple uh, combos that you can use Rebecca for. So you need to have her in your hand or in your trash for Gecko or just her playing it. And then the other Dress Rosa, we have the Sabo. So Sabo, the five cost blocker that puts everything on killable, is essential, especially in the mirror matchups, because if you play that guy in the right moment, it's very strong, <laughs> very, very strong. And I think in these uh, match that you're gonna see, he comes in handy, I think in both of the games. So yeah, very, very useful card. And then for the rest of the deck, you have your four brooks. So two of the three costs, two of the six costs. Um, the three cost combos well with Gecko and with, um, with Rebecca. So they're very, very useful. And this guy here combos well with your leader ability or your stage, right? And with in the mirror matchup or against Law, right? Because Law, all of his characters, or at least most of his characters, are four cost or five cost. So for the five cost, you have your ability to re your leader ability to reduce it by one, or you have your stage. So these two are very very useful when you have your board set up properly. And then last but not least, you have your Gecko Moria. So. Gecko Moria, I think for black decks is mandatory. Like uh, Gecko Moria gives you so much value and it's a crazy, crazy card. So yeah, so that's it for the deck profile. And yeah, so let me know if you would change in the comments below. Let me know, would you change anything or um, one of the cards, right? Let me know. One of the cards that I'm thinking about putting is the eight car Sabo. I think it's a very very good card but I have a hard time finding this the space for it so let me know what you would remove in this list for at least two sabos all right so let's get to the gameplays what is going on guys we are back with some op7 gameplay and we are with Luchi. So I think that's going to be my main pilot this set and we are going second, let's mulligan-ish. Oh no, we're going first, oh yeah I chose, sorry, he <laughs> he, my bad. Um, we will take, uh, hmm, what are we taking here, I will take the 2k counter, I'm just going to throw the Luchi in the trash and then here we're going to do another spandam. 
and fortunately we cannot get that so we'll get the tempest kick and then just do um, actually let's do another one get the luchi and just attack for six use our ability all right so we already have eight cards in our trash which is pretty good We'll be able to use our tempest kick which is a very 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 good card so let's see how it goes we'll take that why not it's gonna play a card for two okay no yeah spam them and another spam them so he went to get a tempest kick and a califa all right Fair enough, and no, but he only has four cards, so Tempest Kick is not gonna be in effect, but he has the stage, which is a problem for us. And um, it's a problem because if I play Brook, it's gonna be easily killable, but let's try it out, why not? So we're just gonna attack for seven, use the ability, and Ooh, we lost the Isho, which I think would have been a good card this game, but uh, we'll see. We have a bunch of characters on board. Unfortunately, they're not very, very good. And here, I'm... Mm, he's not using the ability because he doesn't need to. And... Sure, let's take... Ooh, yes, we'll play the, uh, the stage. So, okay, so our brook is gonna stay alive, which is very good for us. But I think at this point, we can start clearing his board a little bit. Ooh, all right, so he has the list that runs the Savo. Okay, so he just played the Tempest Kick just to draw one card. That's okay, I guess. So if we're doing a uh, Luchi, we're gonna be doing it to the stage, Isho, and something else. Yeah. I think this is the play, unless we, well, yeah, for sure we're gonna do one. So we reduce, uh, we reduce the Khalifa so that we can play the, uh, the Rob Luchi to clear his board. And uh, we're not gonna, attack with brook uh, all right so we're just gonna do yeah we'll do it now since we have the stage we have isho and then we have tempest kick can get rid of these two and honestly i'm just gonna do uh seven i'm just gonna do seven i'm gonna use the ability and that way i can stick to 10 cards in trash and use my Tempest Kick for next turn if I need to, right? Because we do have Brook and yeah, so we shall see what is he going to do. So he's at eight and he doesn't have a Rob Lucci and Trash, so he can't use the Spandine. And did he get it? Uh, nope. So he's minusing one here. Okay, so I don't think it's gonna be a... It's not gonna be a Moria. I don't know if I wanna throw this away just yet. Because if I play it... Yeah, let's just throw that. Because if I draw into Moria... Oh, Isho. All right, so we drew into Moria, which is good. And we have a Rob Lucci, and he discarded our Spandine. So I think I should be able to clear the Lucci, uh, the Isho here. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah for sure I can get rid of it. Um, so minus three here. And then I can just attack put it at minus two stability minus one and we play the Moria getting rid of the Spandam and here could 
I no, I need to play the Rabluchi active. So we're getting a ring of this, and we're gonna get the Spandam. Yeah. Or do I? Uh, yeah. At this stage, yeah. So we're gonna do the Spandam first, and get the Stussy. Yeah. And then clear uh, his Isho. Yeah, I can get rid of one spandam or brook. Get rid of that. Bye bye. And then we attack for six. Okay, so we do have like <laughs> we have control over the game. Like uh, at this stage, we are very very far be uh, far ahead. That I think it. It's a done deal, but uh, we'll see. Because whatever he plays, I can just play Stussy now. Which that's going to be very, very good for us. Yeah, so he's going to clear these two. With, so he's probably, yeah, he's playing Moria. But he still doesn't have the... Okay, no, so he's not playing Moria. Uh, I am protecting this guy here. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Ah, I could have... Yeah, sorry, I, th I thought he, he did 9, but uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, I don't really need to place to see, but I think I will. Why not? Or... No, I, I don't need to play her yet, because I do have this. So we're just going to do our Luchi. But one of... Uh, one Sabo. And... How many do I have? Yeah, so one Suru and then Brook. I think, yeah. And then we'll just attack with everything that we have. Yeah, so we're gonna do five. Five, seven, seven, nine. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And I have this here for if he plays the. Well, Sabo, he, only, he already trashed two Sabos, so he's not going to have any Sabos to play. So that would be a Moria, but he still does, oh yeah, he has a Rabuchi, so yeah. Alright, and that's Chichi, yeah. So we were already like so, so ahead. So yeah, that's it for this first match, and let's get a rematch. Alright, so we're in the second game the second game of uh, Luchi against Luchi and uh, as you could see at the beginning we are running the uh, list with no Sabo so he chose to go first so this hand could potentially be good for us so let's try it all right we don't have the stage which maybe I should have mulligan for that but at the same time, we do have cards to play and like wrapping up to, well, not ramping up, but like curving into our Isho could be pretty, pretty good. So let's see. Let's see what he will do. So if he doesn't have Spadam, then uh, you can just pass. And uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. All right, yeah, so he had a spandam. I don't know what he was thinking. And he grabbed the forecast Rabuchi. So we're playing our own spandam. Uh, fortunately, it's a big whiff, and we crashed one of our uh, stages. And it's very unfortunate. Uh, we were lucky enough last turn to uh, trigger our stage, which helped us a little bit. All right, so he's doing six. Uh, we'll take. Why not? Oh, all right. So we drew into our stage, which is pretty good. So we'll play the stage and just do seven. Seven, do the ability. So now we're at five, two events. And what does he have? All right, it's the C, Kaku, Kaku, and uh, Khalifa. Okay. That is pretty good. Good. So we're five to four. So he's gonna be at six if he attacks. Yeah. So he's attacking for seven. 
and probably playing the uh, Brook for three or attacking with Spadam. Oh, okay, so he didn't do his ability. Oh, interesting. So, he's attacking for seven. Yeah, we'll take it. Take it. And if he plays the Brook, yeah. So, we can take care of that Brook. Uh, we do have two CPs, so we could play the Kaku. So that would be only two, but I think I'd rather play the Rabluchi. And uh, let's see. So we're at six. Yeah, so I'll play the Rabluchi. Yeah, so I will play the Rabluchi and do seven. Because we can get rid of our events and then get rid of the Rebecca, I guess. Yeah, the Rebecca. Clear these two. And then we do seven to the leader. Use our ability. So we're back at five. Working our way to the Tempest Kick. But that's already two Tempest Kicks that we trash. So we only have two left. And yeah, so he'll be able, yeah, okay, so he's gonna play his own Kaku, which is fine. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna take this, but uh, because this might be the turn where I play Isho. Mm. Okay, so we will, yeah, we'll counter. And he's gonna play. Okay, no, so he's not playing. So he's probably playing Rabluchi, yeah. No Kaku, Rabluchi, and he got the Tempest Kick, which is a little problem for us. But if we get. If he. If he can discard it. Alright, so he discarded the Tempest Kick, which is pretty good for us. And just attack, use the ability. We're at 10. It's already three Tempest Kicks that we lose. So that's. That sucks. All right, so let's hope that we made the right decision. Uh, he could pretty well just to see and wreck us. All right, so he doesn't have it. So that's fine. We have to take this, fortunately, because I don't want to. Okay, so okay, so Sabo, that's good. So he countered our Isho with the Sabo protecting everything that he has and he's probably gonna attack for eight which is very annoying but uh, I think we're gonna have to let uh, yeah so we're gonna have to let it go and uh, sure Ooh, this is interesting this is very interesting Ooh, I like that risky but I like that I can take care of two characters here. Uh, leaves me very vulnerable, but I think it's worth it. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna send that to the trash. And here we're gonna attack for 10. And we're gonna, because if he has two 2Ks, yeah, let's just do that. We're gonna attack for 10. That's three cards that they will have to discard. Yeah, so he's not gonna do it. We're gonna do Spandam, get a 2k counter just to protect ourselves. And here, just gonna attack for seven. Uh, am I looking for anything? No, because next turn I have to play Rebecca and Sabo. So yeah, let's just use it, why not? And that's it. Okay. So it's okay. But yeah, so he's gonna try to kill the Isho. Can he do it? He's attacking for six and definitely gonna counter that. So he's at five. Okay, so Moria. Oh no, Sabo. Yeah, I always forget about the Sabo. He 
Ja, 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 ja. Okay. Can we somehow kill the Sabo? I don't have Spandin, which is very unfortunate in this case. Um, just to make sure that like I won't die if I just play Struz S to C. That's my only fear. If I play her here, and he does two big attacks, so he has to do s at least seven. That's five, seven, ten, eight, eight. Only have two or five. But technically, I should be okay. I should be okay if he wants to go for game or. Or because uh, if I do this, that's that's six. I put. Let's just see what he does. The counter. Uh, all right, so I'm at nine, he's at five. So I place to see. Let's try her. I haven't tried her, so trash. Uh, oh, I, I need to trash a. Oh, okay, one character. Oh, shit. That's a problem. That's a problem. I thought it was discard a card from your hand, but you have to trash one of your characters. Oof. This is awkward. This is very, very awkward. Okay, but it doesn't matter because he has to clear that. So next turn. Oh, okay, so he's going for it. Okay, let me do the math here. That's 10. He's doing 10. I only have two, three, four, five. So I have to counter have to counter because <clears throat> I can't rely on this being a a counter yeah so he's going for it and uh, I have to take all right so I should I would have been fine but uh, we never know so I will do this and I have to and I will be taking a 2k counter and I'm not going to play anything. And then I will just play the Sabo, getting rid of the Ennis Lobby and the Rabuchi. And then just to be on the safe side, uh, I'm just going to do six here. I'm not going to use the ability at this point I don't need. And we're going to do nine to his face and end our turn. Okay, so he's probably gonna do the same thing, but then I can do it again and still be at an advantage because now I'm just gonna attack. Actually, um, yeah, so we're gonna counter that way. Okay, so he doesn't, all right, so he has the Borsolino, which is okay, I guess. Uh, is there a way for me to kill? Um, I think I would do two nines. So let me get. Okay, let me now. Yeah, let me just try do nine here. See what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna yeah counter with that. Nine here. One, two, three. Uh, oh, I need to put these two here. So let me get. Oh, or, or actually. Yeah, let's play this. Get that. Send that away. And do five here. Use the ability. Nope. 
I don't need to do the ability and end my turn. Okay, so here we have like four big attacks next turn because we have three blockers. So I think we should be okay. And we have uh, six, seven K in counters. So we should be okay. We should be okay. So he's doing seven. So we're just gonna block here, use a 2K, which will be uh, this one here. And then let's see what he's playing. Oh, well, he has to play two blockers if he wants to survive. He can't, he cannot play Rebecca and Sabo. So, okay, so he's gonna try to clear as much as he can. This is very weird. I think he just... Okay, so he's clearing these two. I don't think he needed. Oh, well, cause he, he, no, yeah. So he minus these two. That's why he needed that. But at this point, uh, we're gonna start attacking to see for nine. I think that sh already should be enough, unless he has uh, enough counters. But if he does, okay. So he had enough counters, but now that's GG. So eleven here. I'm not gonna use it. GG. Good game. All right. So that was a fun game, fun mirror matchup. And I think that's enough. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. And hopefully I didn't do uh, any, uh, gotta go, sorry, any big misplays. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments below, what is your deck for OP7? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy these content. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.